Hi, so community sentences were created by the Criminal Justice Act 2003. What we're going to look at are community orders. So this is what we call our community sentences. They are called community orders. Now, it's a mix and match, match approach. You can kind of have one or two or three of the, the following. First of all, unpaid work in the community. This is where you do unpaid work um, up to 300 hours. Um, it's about kind of repaying society. So number of hours is set and you work on a suitable project. It could be clearing up litter or painting buildings. The next type of community order is a prohibited activity order. So there are a variety of activities that could be banned. So if you're a prolific shoplifter, we're going to ban you from, we're going to prohibit you from going into shopping centres. Um, we're going to prohibit you from foreign travel in some cases. A curfew is another type of community order where you have to remain at a certain address for um, a number of hours. It could be overnight that you have a curfew or it could be during the day. Linked to that, you can also be tagged. So you have an electronic tag around your ankle, which prevents you from going outside of a certain area. A supervision order could be granted um, and this is where you are supervised by a probation officer where you have to attend appointments, check on your progress. You may be required to undertake some kind of practical or educational courses so you can be supervised for up to three years. There are a few other types of community order, mental health treatment, behavioural management orders, drug, alcohol treatment um, and things like that. So those are our community sentences. Another type of sentence are fines. So it's generally the magistrates who fine people. All it is, it's very straightforward, not much to say about it. It's a financial pen penalty that the, offen that the offender, I can't speak today, uh, is usually ordered to pay at a set rate each week. Now, sometimes you have very poor offenders and they're ordered to pay like a pound a week. Um, many fines do actually then go unpaid and then they are written off. So how effective this is? Mm, debatable. The final type of sentence you have are discharges. Now, there are two types. Conditional discharge. So the court discharges the offender on the condition that no other crimes are committed for up to three years. If they re-offend, they then serve the original sentence and the new one. Generally, this is used for less serious offences. Um, so you're going to be talking summary offences in the magistrate's court. The second type of discharge is an absolute discharge. This is where you are you are guilty, but n there's no like suitable punishment for you. No penalty is imposed. So you're technically guilty, but you're morally blameless. So, for example, I don't know, a very poor person who steals nappies for their baby. Um, yes, they're guilty of theft. They may plead guilty of theft and the magistrates will say, well, we don't actually think it's suitable to impose a punishment, you know off you go, but please don't do it again. Um, or if you were caught with a small amount of cannabis on you, I mean, yes, you are in possession of a class B drug, but is there a suitable punishment for you? Probably not. Okay, so lots of different types of sentences. For OCR, you only have to worry about adult offenders, so I haven't spoken about youth offenders.